What's going on guys and welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's Ultimate Custom Night Breakdown video But in today's video we have something super exciting to break down that I'm actually a part of and it's really really cool So if you guys don't know the Ultimate Custom Night page is now up on Steam It has a trailer for the game and a few gameplay screenshots and even some info as to what's gonna be like in the actual Ultimate Custom Night And well in the trailer you might realize that yeah boy I am in it <laughs> So I obviously can't say much about what I'm gonna show you guys I can't say anything like besides what's in what's on like besides what's face value so what you guys are seeing that's what i can talk about but i'm not going to go in detail i'm not going to go anywhere further than just saying okay this is what that is like i'm not going to explain anything i'm not going to share anything it's all like top secret stuff so i'm literally just going to break down what i see and not go further detail into it because you know very obvious reasons i am a beta tester and i'm not trying to you know spoil anything or ruin any surprises or anything like that but anyways guys i do want to remind you guys if you guys want to see more videos on the ultimate custom night be sure to hit that like button right now if you want to help out the channel also hit that subscribe button right now if you haven't already because we have now crossed 1 million subscribers absolutely mind-boggling I never thought I would ever pass that number in a million years but we absolutely crushed it we're already at 1 1 million and 2,000 subscribers it's, it's it's insane anyways guys let's go ahead and get into the ultimate custom night breakdown here so I figured we'd start with the uh, trailer here and then kind of go into everything else the gameplay screenshots the uh, article or you know the storyline stuff like that and see exactly what we're going to be getting ourselves into pretty soon here all right so let's go ahead and watch the trailer first and start from there all right let's go ahead and start it up right now just so we can sync it all I'm together nervous for this but the goosebumps are just Ooh. oh there it is <laughs> rasbowski Nako. Yeah. so you can actually customize the offices now there's a and wide the variety of offices well, it looks well, like right there like what was that like three do. four offices oh, the oh there i am <laughs> Oh my god, look at them all coming through the vent. So much <laughs> this night really is chaos. Oh, he's changing the difficulty. Oh my, there's all the jump scares. Freddy. Oh my god. This is not something to mess around with. This is the ultimate custom night. Oh my. Oh, Bonnie. We'll go Golden Freddy. There he is, too. Of course, Rockstar Foxy. Oh, what is. Oh my god, look at that. There's so much happening. Oh, this Daco's dance. <laughs> Incredible, dude. Oh, even Ballora shows up. And there's Dee Dee. Oh my god. Oh, that voice actor is sick. And that's kind of where the trailer ends, but... So guys, that is the trailer for it, and man, that was so cool. I love how Scott did this. He included the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 music, and he just like, he compiled all of our kind of reactions, initial thoughts, and stuff like that into this trailer, and I really do think he did a great job on it. I'll actually have it linked in the description. But yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna break anything down in this video. I'm not gonna go in detail. I'm literally just gonna show you guys what's on screen, not gonna talk about it for obvious reasons, like I said. Anyways, on the first screenshot we have here, it's uh, Nightmare in A, Phantom Freddy in the back, you even got Rockstar Freddy, and you're obviously in the office right here and you can see you know it's just it's a gameplay screenshot of them kind of attacking as you guys know in the uh where we got the updates for you know every character what they're going to do if you hover over nightmare in a it kind of shows up and that's kind of what's happening there which is pretty freaky anyways after that we have a look at a, a possible sister location office if you guys remember from the trailer Daco actually showed some of the offices on the right side and one of them was this office it appears so it looks like this is actually a screenshot from that in game and it looks like i don't know maybe i guess you can change the offices and stuff like that um you can see there's two vents on either side it's the same office but it looks like it's a little bit different to say the least you can kind of see security puppet right there too and just a few other things it's really really cool um i don't know if that's going to change gameplay in any way shape or form but it still does look nice either way um anyways after that we got to look at okay this is interesting because uh this looks like a completely different room you can see that there is toy cheek on the left side you've got the mask on to i'm guessing get rid of her she's from fnaf 2 so maybe that's how she works um but yeah it looks like you know it's in a different room i'm not sure where that is you can definitely tell it's different if you go to the first screenshot and then you go to this one it's a completely different area but still pretty cool um after that though we got to look at rockstar foxy who's just there to give you a little um item or a power up you can see he can give you one percent power 60 degrees in the office soundproofing or a 10 fast coin bonus right there and it's also at 120 degrees 
in that office at that moment which is pretty insane it's really hot so he might want to go for that 60 degree you know bonus right there anyways after that we got to look at the vent system which in my gameplay you guys actually saw that in the trailer um which is pretty cool i mean you can see that there's spring trap chica um you know molten freddy mangle they're all kind of coming through the vents and they're all going to be going from different angles it looks like like it looks like through the middle it's possibly going to be you know molten freddy and chica and then maybe at the end will be spring trap i really have no idea though um also mangle is coming from the left one and on the right you can see that there's a variety of things to kind of control too there's the power generator um silent ventilation heater power ac global music box that's all right there along with the cam system vent system and the duct system which is pretty cool um there's a lot to do in this ultimate custom night just off of this screenshot alone anyways after that we got to look at another office change this is actually looks like fnaf 3 you can see chica's coming out of the vent she's actually that's that stuck motion that he was talking about when um you know he was updating the character list and kind of saying what everyone would do if you guys remember he talked about chica getting stuck in the vent uh, we can see though bonnie's on the right side toy bonnie the arcade games are back and even some pictures of like spring trap um chica and stuff like that and the wet floor sign too if you guys remember what that's from anyways after that we got to look at the full character roster um obviously like i said or as you can see in the trailer um there's a wide variety of characters here like there is a lot you can see phone guy you can see the crocodile guy from uh fnaf what was it three i want to say or maybe world i think it's fnaf three though um anyways you know you can see on the right side you can actually set them all to different intervals so you can do zero one five ten twenty um up to it looks like ten thousand yeah up to ten thousand because he has everybody activated um right here and of course they got a high score bar right there too and a 50 20 best time and of course you can also turn on character info so you can kind of learn a little bit about what the characters are going to do to you when they kill you and then of course the giant go button <laughs> when you're ready to start it up and then after that though we got to look at this is okay camera one and you can see that there's freddy on the left side he's coming to kill you along with jacko chica and even a poster for twisted wolf and some other kind of poster further back it looks like maybe a black cat or something i'm not too sure what that has to do with anything or even the twisted wolf poster i'm guessing these are just kind of carried over from fnaf 6 but it is interesting to see them in this trailer to say the least anyways after that we got to look at the prize corner you can see um it's cam 7 and he's currently has it selected to cam system so that's how he's able to look around there um we can see that there's a variety of different plushies and stuff that you could buy um bonnie you know baby mango or funtime foxy and just a bunch of other ones that you can kind of buy and kind of you know uh, do whatever you want to do with them um anyways after that you got to look at the toy freddy mini game possibly you can see that there is you know the cam select system if you guys remember in game he'll kind of be playing his own game from what scott said on the update page so it looks like that's possibly what this is you can see that there is the vacuum kind of coming to kill toy freddy i'm, I'm assuming um you can also see you know he's kind of sitting there playing the game so yeah it's a cool little system it looks like that you can kind of do right there anyways after that we got to look at the duck system again but this one oh so we were on the vent system before this is the duck system so i actually got that wrong last time but you can see it looks like there's these triangles Kind of pushing towards you those are probably characters animatronics kind of slowly coming to kill you he has the right duct close and then the oh no yeah yeah the right duct close the left duct open which is pretty cool um after that we got to look actually this is the final screenshot we got to look at uh funtime foxy who is in the uh he's buying the currents on cam six it says showtime at 2 a.m and it looks like our character is currently there at 12 a.m so he might be dying i don't think you're supposed to go there unless it's the correct showtime but still pretty cool either way and that's all the gameplay screenshots that are here for you guys there's just it, there's so much to go through in this like there's there's so much to explore if you guys really want to go like in depth and break down these screenshots you guys definitely should because there's a lot in them anyways after that i'm gonna go, go ahead and say the release date for it so it's june 29th and it unlocks in approx approximately two weeks it says on the steam page so june 29th guys that's when you'll be able to play it it looks like which is pretty crazy because we were initially thinking august and now it's coming out a lot earlier which is insane i mean it's scott what do you guys expect he works so hard he gets things done really really fast um and then it also has a little bit of an about this game section here which we're going to read through for you guys right here it says welcome to the ultimate finite to mashup where you will once again be trapped alone in an office fending off killer animatronics Fe featuring 50 selectable animatronic characters spanning seven five nights at freddy's games the options for customization are nearly endless mix and match any assortment of characters that you like set their difficulty from zero to 20 then jump right into the action from your office desk you will need to, to manage two side doors two vent doors as well or two vents as well as two 
two air hoses, all of which lead directly into your office. This time you'll have to master other tools as well if you want to complete the ultimate challenges. Tools such as the heater, AC, a global music box, a power generator, and more. As if all that weren't enough, you'll also need to get up to set up laser traps in the vents, collect faz coins, purchase items from the, the prize corner, and as always, keep a close eye on not one, but two Pirate Cove curtains. Other features include challenge menu including 16 themed challenges, so there is going to be challenges, voice acting from returning favorites, as well as from the new arrivals to the franchise, unlockable office skins, and unlockable cutscenes. So it looks like what we saw right there are the unlockable offices. So like I said, when we saw that sister location office, when we saw that FNAF 3 office, and even in that mask, I'm assuming that was FNAF 4 because you can actually see the closet. Um, I don't want to say anything, but I'm assuming that's what that is because, yeah, you can, you're like, when you're looking through the mask, you definitely see that's the closet right there and even the wall with the drawings. But they seem to be like remastered offices, which is pretty cool. So it looks like, you know, Scott really did put a lot of work into this. And also at the end, it says unlockable cutscenes. So, yeah, it looks like we're going to be having cutscenes in the game, which is interesting because. I don't know, I thought this wasn't really going to have that much storyline to it, but it looks like that might not be the case, just judging by the unlockable cutscene part. So yeah guys, that's where I'm in this video. Like I said, I am a beta tester for this game, so I obviously cannot say anything about the game. Literally, what all I said in this video was what was shown to me in the gameplay screenshots. I did not give any hints, I didn't give any tips, secrets, anything like that. What I said in this video was strictly, you know, what I see at face value, and that is it. So do not worry guys, and I will not be sharing anything until Scott allows me to, which probably won't be until June 29th. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you're new channel, hit that subscribe button because obviously you don't wanna miss the, the, the custom night footage, which is gonna be coming to the channel on the 29th. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.